In this video, we are going to talk about two important theorems in Calculus 1. One is known as Rolle's theorem and other one is called Mean Value theorem. Let us focus our attention into the first theorem called Rolle's theorem. Let f of x be a real valued function defined in the closed interval a comma b then the function satisfies the following three hypotheses or three conditions. Condition number one, the function f of x should be a continuous function on the closed interval a comma b. Condition number two, the given function f of x should be differentiable on the open interval a comma b. Condition number three, the function value at the point a should be equal to the function value at the point b that is f of a is equal to f of b if all the three conditions are satisfied by the given function then there should be at least one point i can find that point i denoted by c where this c should lies in the given interval a comma b such that the first derivative at the point c should be equal to zero let us see an example to know better Rolle's theorem. Verify Rolle's theorem for the function f of x is equal to x power 2 minus 5x plus 6 on the interval 2 comma 3. So here the starting interval a is 2, the ending interval b is 3. What is our condition number 1? The function f of x should be a continuous function. In lower classes, we have learned all the polynomial functions are continuous. So this is a polynomial function. It's a quadratic function. This is a continuous one. So I say the function is continuous on the closed interval a comma b. Of course, here I can say that 2 comma 3 because a value is 2, b value is 3. Second condition, the function should be differentiable in the open interval 2 comma 3. So let us find the derivative of the function. So the derivative of x power 2 will give you 2x. The derivative of the second term minus 5x will give you minus 5. Then what I do, I have to set the first derivative value equal to 0 to know the critical point C. So that means 2x minus 5 equal to 0 or x e 2x equal to plus 5 or I can say x equal to 5 by 2. Okay. As per the Rolle's theorem, the third condition will be f of a should be equal to f of b. So here I have to calculate f of a. That means I need to find what is the value of the function f at the point 2. That is I know to I have to know what is f of 2. To know f of 2 what I do, I have to replace the x value in the given function by 2 that is 2 power 2 minus 5 times of 2 plus 6 okay so that is in the function wherever you have x will replace by 2 so that will give you 2 power 2 4 5 times 2 minus 10 plus 6 so i can say f of 2 value equal to 0. Similarly, I have to find f of b. What is f of b? f of b means f of 3. So now I have to replace x value by 3 in the function. So 3 to the power 2 minus 5 times 3 plus 6. This will give you 3 power 2 is 9 minus 15 plus 6. So f of 3 value also equal to 0. So f of 2 value is 0. f of 3 value also equal to 0. So from this I can say that f of 2 is equal to f of 3. Then as I told you before we need to find the critical point. We have already calculated the critical point here. So I have got x equal to 5 by 2. So 5 by 2 means what? This is nothing but 2 point 5. Now what you do you have to check whether this point lies on the interval. Here what is my interval? My interval is closed interval 2 
and closed interval 3 2 comma 3 so at this point 2.5 it is somewhere here so that means this point lies on the interval 2 comma 3 since this point critical point lies in the interval 2 comma 3 i can say the rolls theorem verified suppose if the point lies outside the interval then i can say rolls theorem is not verified for the problem let us move to the second question verify rolls theorem for the function f of x equal to x power 2 plus 2x on the interval minus 2 comma 0 so here this is your a and this is your b so as usual let me write the first two conditions f of x is continuous because it is a polynomial function f of x is differentiable on the open interval minus 2 comma 0 so differentiable means i can find the first derivative so what is the first derivative f dash of x will give you 2x plus 2 then i have to find f of a value and f of b value so what is f of a f of a is f of minus 2 what is f of b that is f of 0 so i have to substitute minus 2 in the function so that will give you minus 2 to the power 2 plus 2 times of 2 what is f of 0 f of 0 means i have to substitute 0 in the function that is 0 power 2 2 times of 2 by simplifying this will give you I'm sorry here we should substitute minus 2 by simplifying this will give us minus 2 power 2 is plus 4 here 2 times of minus 2 will give you minus 4 so 4 minus 4 is equal to 0 in the second stage it should be 0 not 2 it should be 0 so 0 power 2 is 0 plus 2 times of 0 also 0 so this also will give you a 0 so I have concluded that f of minus 2 equal to f of 0 that is f of a equal to f of b. So all the three conditions satisfied by the function then I have to find the critical point. So what is my critical point? My critical point is setting the first derivative of value equal to 0 and I replace x value by 2. So that will give you 2x plus 2 equal to 0. I have to change x equal to c so 2c plus 2 equal to 0 2c equal to minus 2 divide both side by minus 2 will give you minus 2 by 2 not by minus 2 divide both side by plus 2 will give you minus 2 by 2 so i have concluded that c equal to minus 1 then i have to check whether this critical point is lies on the interval my interval is minus 2 comma 0 it is a closed interval what is the point we got so far the point is minus 1 so this point should lies inside the interval so i say the critical point is minus 1 which is in the interval minus 2 comma 0 and i have declared that the rule theorem verified now let us move on to the second theorem called mean value theorem for mean value theorem also the first two conditions are similar to the rules theorem so the first condition is f of x equal to f of x is continuous on the interval closed interval a comma b the function should be differentiable on the open interval a comma b then instead of the third condition here we have the other condition the other condition is i can find at least one point c in the interval a comma b such that f dash of c should be equal to f of b minus f of a divided by b minus a let us see one example verify mean value theorem for the function x to the power 3 minus 6x in the interval 1 comma 3 so here a value is 1 b value is 3 so let us begin the solution by writing the function is continuous on the closed interval and we can also say that the function is differentiable on the open interval so if i differentiate i will get f dash of x equal to derivative of x power 3 is 3x power 2 derivative of minus 6x is minus 6 
then I have to find f of 1. So f of 1 will give you 1 power 3 minus 6 times 1. So that is equal to minus 5. Then I have to find f of b that is f of 3. If I put 3 in the function that will give you 3 power 3 minus 6 times of 3. By simplifying I will get 9. Okay, what is the condition? The condition is f dash of c is equal to f of b minus f of a divided by b minus a. For f dash of c, we know that f dash of x is 3x power 2 minus 6. So, what is f dash of c? f dash of c is nothing but 3c squared minus 6. So, from this we will come to know what is c value. So, the c value will be and before that let me calculate this thing f of b minus f of a divided by b minus a. So, what is f of b, f of a just now I have found that it is 9. So, 9 minus f of a, f of a will be minus 5 divided by b minus a which is 3 minus 1. By simplifying this 9 minus minus plus 5 divided by 3 minus 1 2. 9 plus 5 is 14 divided by 2. 14 divided by 2 is equal to 7. Okay. So, what is left hand side? The left hand side we have f dash of c. So, I am going to equate this value with this value. So, I have 3 c squared minus 6. So, this is for f dash of c is equal to f of b minus f of a divided by b minus a which is nothing but 7. So, from this we will find what is c value. So, 3 c squared equal to 7 plus 6 that is equal to 13. So, c squared equal to 13 by 3 or I can say c is equal to plus or minus square root of 13 by 3. So, if I simplify 13 by 3 that will give you 2.08. So, we have two values. One value is 2.08. Another value is 2.08. But as per the mean value theorem condition, we have at least one point lies in the interval. Here, the given interval is 1, 3. Okay. So, the first point 2.08 lies in the interval 1, 3 and this minus lies outside the interval. So, don't consider the second value just consider the first value 2.08. So, I have declared that c equal to 2.08 belongs to 1, 3 or it is on the interval 1, 3. So, we say that mean value theorem verified. So, here as usual, I will give you some problems for you to work out. The first three problems you have to verify Rolle's theorem and the last two questions you have to verify the mean value theorem. So, answers also given. Check yourself. See you in the next video. Thank you.